Australia is like a second home to me because I've spent nearly three years there doing research on frog communication and capturing wildlife images and sound. I was surprised to learn that even though Australia and the United States have about the same land area, Australia has about two and a half times the number of frog species, despite being dominated by deserts and other arid landscapes. The diversity is highest in tropical regions in the north and northeast coast, and there are also many species in wet areas along the east coast and southwest corner of Western Australia. But another surprising fact is there's also moderately high diversity in deserts and other arid landscapes, such as my favorite arid place, the Kimberley region of northwestern Australia, where some species also avoid dehydration by sheltering in caves. In general, Desert species and many others living in arid habitats emerge to breed only after heavy rainfall. Australian frogs also employ a variety of reproductive strategies, ranging from nest building and parental care of tadpoles to skipping the tadpole stage altogether. Most Australian tree frogs are delicate frogs with sticky toes like most of those in the Northern Hemisphere and in South America. But molecular studies show that Australian species are more closely related to South American species, and it is likely they reached Australia in prehistoric times via Antarctica. As you will see, some groups of Australian tree frogs have become adapted to deserts and other arid habitats and have diverged considerably in appearance and behavior. The following showcase of Australian frogs begins with eastern species of tree frogs living in rainforest or along streams and around ponds in relatively humid habitats.
The bell frogs are tree frogs that look and behave much like our North American ranid or true frogs, like green frogs and bullfrogs. They mostly live in permanent bodies of water and may defend territories where females lay eggs. This is a classic case of convergent evolution, where unrelated species respond similarly to the same selective pressures.
second major family of Australian frogs are the foam-nesting ground frogs. Nearly all of the species in this family lay eggs in a floating, foamy mass. They also lack toe and finger discs, they have tadpoles with external gills, and engage in a different mode of pairing than the tree frogs called inguinal amplexus. Males clasp the females around their waist rather than just behind the female's forelegs, the so-called axillary amplexus of tree frogs. The third major family of Australian frogs are ground frogs that share many of the characteristics of the other ground frog family except for the production of foamy egg masses. Most tadpoles do not have external gills and the frogs in this family show an enormous range of size and body forms, habitats, and modes of reproduction.